Hello. I'm going to make French onion soup using the pressure cooker. Um, these are the ingredients that I'm going to use. Several kinds of onions, red, Vidalia, and uh, shallots. And I'm going to use some fresh garlic, some vegetable stock, a little brown sugar to caramelize the onions, some balsamic vinegar, and some salt and pepper. First thing I'm going to do is peel all the onions and slice them very thin. Okay, we're going to cut the shallots next, and I don't know, uh, most people don't use shallots in French onion soup, but I'd like to add that flavor since I'm not using any alcohol or I'm not using any beef stock. I'd like to uh, enhance the flavor a little bit more. And sometimes when you cut the shallots, you'll see there's several pieces inside, but we want them very thin because these are very powerful little onions. And we're going to caramelize these right along with the other onions that we have. I'll add these to the white. And next we'll cut some red onions. You can choose whatever kind of onions that are available in your marketplace. Today, the nice, fresh the ones that I saw were red um, Vidalia and shallots. Now, some people who use alcohol in their um, in their recipe for French onion soup will find that when they use the pressure cooker, it's a little different because you can't allow the alcohol to evaporate in the same way. So we're just going to add a few other little flavors. That's why I'm using balsamic vinegar. And boy, these are strong red onions. This is going to be delicious. And the other ingredient here to cut is the garlic. And you can use lots of garlic and you don't have to make it too fine. Don't chop it too finely because it's nice to eat a piece of garlic while you're having your soup. I'm just going to make little slices out of that too. That's terrible. We'll, we'll add the slices of garlic. I would use the whole head of garlic uh, in, in this recipe. I'm going to add a uh, half a stick of butter to the pressure cooker now and we're going to work first in the browning mode just to caramelize the onions. So let's get the butter in there and get it melted. Now you can see the butter sizzling in the browning mode so you can see exactly what's going on there. We're going to start adding the very thinly sliced onions and you can see that's why I sliced them so thin is so that they would um, caramelize quickly, as quick as possible. As soon as they start to get soft, then we're going to um, add the rest of the ingredients and start to um, cook it under pressure. Take a peek into the pot here and see that the volume is becoming much less. The onions are starting to get nice and soft. And to speed the caramelization process, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of brown sugar. And the the sugar helps that along and before you know it we'll have some 
browned onions here. All right, now take a look in here. Look at these nice brown caramelized onions. This is perfect to start the soup with. Doesn't that look good? You can hear the sizzle, how nicely this um, pressure cooker works in the browning mode. You don't even need to have an extra frying pan. Now I'm gonna add the balsamic vinegar. And I just wanna explain again, I'm doing this instead of any kind of sherry or alcohol. Um, it's not necessary because the alcohol won't have a chance to cook off in this uh, pressurized environment. However, this adds the same kind of flavor and it's a very rich flavor. Also, um, using a vegetarian vegetable stock rather than what's uh, customarily used as a beef stock, I'm gonna add this while it's still hot in the browning mode. The reason I'm doing that is it helps the pressure cooker be ready for the heated up mode where you want the pressure to start as soon as possible. So once you start smelling this, you start to get hungry for it. Just gonna add some salt and pepper, add some other seasonings if you like. Some people would add uh, some a little more spicy, some Tabasco sauce or something like that. And we're ready to put the lid on and pressurize it. All right, add the lid, put it in pressure mode, and set your timer for eight minutes on high and press start. All right, the uh, pressure cooker finished its cycle of pressurized cooking, and now we're going to let the pressure out manually. I always cover it so the house doesn't get sprayed. Take a minute or two to let the pressure out of the pot before we open the lid. Okay, all done. Let's open the lid and see what we have in there. Oh, look at that. French onion soup. Does that look delicious? Okay, we're going to ladle some out into an oven safe dish. And while this was uh, cooking, I sliced up some crusty French bread. And we're going to sit the French bread right in the soup. I'm going to use two slices for this size bowl. So it starts to absorb a little bit. Then we're going to cover it with a couple kinds of cheeses. First I'm going to add a slice of provolone. Then I like to call this a boulder soup, so I'm adding several chunks of feta cheese, then a slice of Swiss, and then we'll put a sprinkle of Parmesan. And I'll do this to the other bowl and then we'll sit it in the broiler. In the meantime, I'm going to turn my broiler on. Now these are all set up. I feel like I need to add a little extra cheese so we get the effect that's dripping off the edge. There's nothing wrong with a little more cheese, right? Okay, we're going to put this right in the oven, next to the broiler, and we'll get it out. Be very careful, don't leave it in too long. Watch that bubbling in the oven. It, we'll leave it a little bit longer so it gets nice and brown. Alright, I think it looks just perfect now. Bubbly, browned, you can start to see the crust of the bread. Wow, is that delicious. When you serve this, it's a good idea to put your bowl on another plate so your uh, person eating it doesn't think that the bowl's not hot because it's extremely hot. How's that for a nice pressure cooker meal?